it's good to, good to see you guys on the screen. Uh, quickly about our fall practice that's been very successful. I have to give a little shout out to our medical team. Uh, trainer Isaac Trujillo has done a great job in keeping us active and on the field and really productive. We have two weekends left. We will have our uh, wild verse cats uh, next weekend and we'll wrap up fall baseball at that time. But uh, very excited about the 21 season and the direction this team's headed. Uh, what we're here for today is signing day. Uh, very successful class. I think this recruiting year uh, presented a number of challenges, especially here towards the end where we weren't out to get out and see players, to get a chance to do things we normally do as far as having guys on campus. Uh, but I think we navigated that really well. I think uh, our staff deserves a lot of credit. Uh, Coach Yeski, Coach Lawn, and everybody involved in that. Um, we got a very good foundation early on in the process, which was very helpful, uh, turned out to be very helpful because of the nature of things and, and what transpired. But we were able to close pretty well in terms of this summer and early this fall to add some really key pieces as well. So it's a group we're really excited about. I think it's incredibly balanced in terms of what we're adding to the team. Uh, right now, it's, it's always difficult to project who's going to be leaving, who's returning, uh, given the nature of things and how things have changed with Major League Baseball. But when you just look at this group, uh, it checks a lot of boxes on the pitching side, left-handed pitching, right-handed pitching, uh, elite arm strength, high-level pitchability, uh, winners on the mound, which is always really important to, to me. And then on the position player side of it, balance of left-handed, right-handed hitting, uh, good behind the plate, good in the infield, very good in the outfield. Uh, balance of speed, power, solid hitting skills. So I think this group would be able to help us at any time, uh, given the circumstances in, we're in right now, uh, was really productive. I feel like these guys will follow up our group that are freshmen and in the program right now incredibly well and, and give us a bright future. So uh, very excited about them in general. Um, just kind of going through uh, them individually. I'm just going to go in alphabetical order off this sheet. Uh, Chris Bow actually is the most recent guy that we committed and, and signed with us this morning at College of Southern Nevada, uh, same program that we got Chase Silseth from, who will be a key uh, member of our pitching staff this year. Uh, Chris is a really good story, has really developed uh, in this last year, last six months, uh, tremendously and uh, will be a very important part of our team next year in 2022. His fastball has been up to 96 miles an hour, throws all his pitches for strikes, uh, highly competitive, highly intelligent, and I don't see a, a long learning curve for him. Uh, he'll be a guy that we expect to impact our pitching staff in 22 immediately, which will be important because I would assume we'll have several pitchers drafted this year in, in 2021. So very excited about Chris and and like I said, it was a, a relatively late addition to to putting this group together. Uh, next player is Ryan Campos uh, from Red Mountain High School in Mesa. In my opinion, Ryan is the best player in the state of Arizona for the class of 2021. Uh, typical left-handed hitter. Um, you guys know my affinity for left-handed hitters in our program. And you know, when I went to recruit Ryan, I, I swear he had like 13 hits in a row over the course of three or four games and has not slowed down um, through his high school time. Uh, classic swing um, and his versatility is really important. I think he's a great catcher, uh, can also play uh, very well in the infield and athletic enough to play in the outfield. And I think he'll be one of those guys that is in the middle of a, a lot of offensive rallies in, in future years, uh, right kind of toughness and makeup and character uh, that will give him a chance to be successful here at Arizona. Next player is Matty Clark uh, from Damien High School in Southern California. Terrific program. Uh, recruiting Matty has been, been awesome. Uh, he uh, committed to us, I believe, as a freshman in high school, so like three years ago. And so to watch his development into one of the best players in, in Southern California, um, very classic, again, Arizona-type offensive player. Uh, he's fast. He's athletic. 
uh, strong, can hit with power, solid hitting skills, and uh, a player, like I said, that plays for a really good high school program that will position him well to uh, make a positive contribution here. And uh, very excited uh, to coach him and, and seeing his development over the last few years um, gives me great optimism for where we're headed with uh, Matty. Uh, Chris Cortez, right-handed pitcher from the Las Vegas area, Silverado High School, terrific arm up to 95, 96 miles an hour, really good athlete, also is like a 6'5", uh, runner in the 60. Um, so I've, I've joked with him after he's done striking people out, we might use him as a pinch runner at times. Um, but very excited about Chris. I think he's just scratching the surface of his potential and uh, has a chance to be a dominating uh, pitcher for us in, in our program. Um, like I said, terrific athlete, terrific arm, um, used to be an infielder and, uh, that athleticism, uh, is something that we're always looking for. I think working with coach Yeski, uh, the sky will be the limit for, for Chris and, and certainly a big, big piece of this group that we're bringing in. Uh, Ethan Gorson is the next player, uh, infielder from Point Loma high school in San Diego, left-handed hitter, uh, really athletic, uh, can run, um, big time defensive skills in terms of his glove and his arm strength and a very quick bat. I think he is a player um, that has uh, unlimited potential. I think another one that when you look at him a year from now, two years from now, you all will say, well, we can certainly see why you guys recruited him hard. I think um, he's one of the best shortstops on the West Coast um, and and can certainly be athletic and play, you know, really any position on the field, but is definitely an, an infielder and, and somebody we're really, really excited to have. I think, um, you know, when I look at him, I see a, a long future in baseball if he continues to develop. And I think he's coming to the perfect place uh, to do that. Uh, went out to Illinois uh, to get a left-handed pitcher, Eric Orloff, uh, who we, we got this summer during the pandemic, uh, a lot of video, uh, watched literally like three or four appearances in a row. And the thing that really stood out was uh, the ability to fill up the strike zone with all pitches and, and get hitters off timing, command his fastball to both sides of the plate, does things really, really easy. And when you look at, you know, some of the guys that we've had here that have had success, J.C. Cloney, Cameron Ming, uh, Garrett Irvin currently, uh, he's probably a bigger version of all of those types of guys. And uh, – I think he's he kind of came on the scene a little bit later, and we were certainly excited that he was available and and wanted to come west for for college. So we're really excited about Eric. Uh, next player is Josh Randall, a unique skill set of right-handed pitcher and a catcher. Uh, Josh really has developed in the last year. Uh, he's one of the best players in the country. Um, you know, big time arm strength. I think he's been up to 95, 96 miles an hour real hard power curveball, uh, really good mound presence, uh, physically strong, uh, which is where the, the catching piece comes in, has a lot of power in his bat, um, very unique, and he can impact the game, I think, in, in a lot of different ways and, and has the sustainability to be a two-way player uh, at this level. Reed Schaefer, left-handed pitcher, uh, also from Las Vegas at Desert Oasis High School, Again, a player that we um, got recently, uh, big time arm strength uh, for a lefty. I think uh, the best is yet to come for Reed, uh, has really made a jump again over the last year. And uh, I think uh, there's an exciting thought of him getting here, uh, getting with Coach Yeski, and uh, we're getting him at probably the exact right time in terms of how he's been developed and is developing and excited to have Reed. Um, you know, as another left-handed pitcher. David Shackelford uh, from La Habra High School in Southern California, another player we've had committed for a while. Uh, I keep kind of using the term, um, you know, Arizona player, Arizona hitter. I think David fits into that as well. He's a guy that uh, performs, you know, has been an all-league player uh, very early on in his high school career, um, can play multiple positions. Um, outfield is experimenting with playing in the infield a little bit as well. Uh, but a guy that will put a lot of pressure on the defense in terms of hitting skills, uh, speed, um, some developing power, and really intelligent. Uh, a guy that's going to take all the things development-wise that we're going to want to do with him and 
and turn himself into a really good player. Tommy Splain uh, from Los Gatos High School up in the Bay Area, uh, very unique, also a pitcher, uh, hitter, two-way player, uh, has been behind the plate, can also play on the corner infield. Uh, one of the best change-ups, high school change-ups that I've frankly ever seen, uh, has the type of body that make us believe he will continue to project to add velocity, throws a ton of strikes, uh, very good competitor. And then on the position player side of it, a, a swing that generates a lot of power and also, you know, a really good defensive catcher as well and, and the athleticism to move to the corner. So a player that can add a lot of, a lot of value. It will be fun with a few of these two-way guys to see, you know, how they end up impacting our team. And we feel like we have a good template of, of how to do that. Anthony Susak, right-handed pitcher from Jesuit High School up in Sacramento, uh, one of the best pitchers in the country, in my opinion, in this class. Uh, very good fastball, uh, very good off-speed stuff. I think he has strikeout potential, which playing in the Pac-12 is really, really important with the caliber of competition that we see on a daily basis. He's a great competitor, elite worker, uh, in tremendous shape, and uh, somebody that has all the makings of somebody that can – impact the program early and, and be a, a headliner um, in terms of leadership headliner in terms of, of performance as he moves along in his career here. So we're really excited about Anthony uh, Luis Tuero uh, from Florida Southwestern College. He was at the University of Miami last year. He was the second leading hitter at Miami, left-handed hitter, um, high performer no matter where he's been. Uh, remember several years ago, he was the shortstop on the 15 and under national team, played with, you know, Brandon Bossier on that team, uh, you know, who's one of our best players, uh, committed to Miami very early, had some success last year, chose not to go back. And we were fortunate uh, to get involved with Luis in the summertime. And again, a, a player that I think has the right type of maturity to obviously uh, make a positive impact and and look like he's been here for a long time from the time he sets, sets foot on our campus. So that was a big win for us uh, getting Luis here. Noah Turley, uh, right-handed pitcher, also uh, a corner infielder, outfielder type player, uh, but tremendous physical specimen, tremendous arm strength, um, pitches with, you know, a lot of intent is how I would say it. And a guy that I think, you know, when you look on and turn on the TV, and look at pitchers in the major leagues, just physically, that's what they look like. And uh, very excited for him to get here and to evolve uh, on the mound and, and at the plate. And uh, again, after, you know, being at Yavapai this year, it's a great program up there uh, with their coaching staff. I think we'll be very well poised to make a significant impact on our team next year. Uh, lastly, Tyler Whitaker um, from Bishop Gorman High School in Las Vegas. Um, certainly last but not least, um, the first player we had committed in this class, he actually committed to us as an eighth grader and, uh, it's cool to finally have him here or be on the doorstep of having him here. Uh, one of the best players in, in the country. And it's, it's fun to get a chance to see that and, um, look at Tyler and, and how he's evolved, uh, could certainly stand on his own if he was just a pitcher and early on, maybe that's what I thought he was going to head to and, and now he's one of the best players in the country in terms of being a right-handed hitter with power and speed i legitimately think probably other than catcher which we would need him to do he could play every single position on the field and play it well he's a 6-5 runner in the 60 and, and terrific power bat speed and we'll only get better in terms of uh getting here and, and doing the things that we do with hitters and position players so like I said, as you kind of talk through those guys, the, the best part of them is I think they add a lot of add a lot of value. I think they're all different and will complement, you know, the good younger players in our program that will be here the next couple of years to to give us a really good solid foundation moving forward. And um, really gratifying day given all the circumstances in terms of putting together another really good class that we're excited about.